Hi again. Welcome back for class number seven of seven. So this is the final class of Caregiving for Dementia. Hello, I am Beth Reeves. I'm actually remembering to introduce myself because I often forget that. And I'm with uh, Beth Reeves Eight Keys. And this is my series on caregiving for dementia. So it's a seven part series and this is my seventh class. So in this class, we are going to review what we've done. We're going to celebrate how far we have come and then we are going to pull it all together so that we can feel good about this new information and move forward feeling prepared, feeling supported, and feeling positive. So I am just going to make one quick thing here. So, do, do, do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Ah, okay, so I see one thing I didn't do here. Let me change this. Hold on. This is... Sorry about this. Okay. Um... So I, um, I hope that you have been able to journey along with me, and if you have, a huge, huge thanks, <laughs> because um, it has meant so much to me to be able to, to know that you were there and to prepare this material for you and to try to take my experience and pull out things that I felt were helpful and that might be useful to you and and um, meaningful. So it was meaningful for me. I hope that it was helpful for you. Um, it's been quite a journey. We have covered a lot of things. So I wanted to make sure that we recognize that we have taken this investment in ourselves. We have taken this time to learn something, to connect with one another, and that um, it's as valuable. So thank you for being here. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to go to my next slide. Slowly, slowly, I am learning how to do this. I hope that uh, y'all are being patient with me. <laughs> um, okay, so, so yes, so here we are, our journey, our seven classes. We have covered so many things, and the first thing we're going to do right now is celebrate. Woo -woo. So we've covered so many things. I just want to give us a moment. Yeah, we gotta do this, you know? We gotta do it. Come on, join me. Come on, come on, get in there. Take a moment. Yeah, yeah. You're awesome, you're awesome, you're awesome, you're awesome. Yeah, yeah. Okay, like seriously, like we, I know, I know how it is. I know that there's so much information out there. There's so many things you could choose to do with your time. And sometimes, you know, we might not feel like we make the best choices, <laughs> you know? We might choose to do something, um, spend a, a few hours on the computer, or, you know, just getting caught up in something where we're researching and researching, and even though we feel like we should be doing it, it's really not getting us anywhere where we keep going. And, you know, at the end of the time, we're just feeling oh, depleted, depleted. Uh, so my hope is that with this course, with this series, 
you have found something that you did spend time on but it actually gave you something back <laughs> and if it did I hope that you will feel free to share it with other people that it might might find it helpful um, you know as I've mentioned all of these these videos have been recorded and I will leave them up um, both on my Facebook page and on the YouTube channel I personally am finding and again I'm new at this but I'm finding that the YouTube channel is much easier to navigate it's easier to find the videos and go through them in order it'll be just a playlist that will be caregiving for dementia so folks can just go there and play them which seems a lot simpler than it is on Facebook so if you have other people that you feel would, would enjoy this series please go there and um, and share it with them it's all Beth Reeves eight keys using the number eight whether it's on Facebook or on the YouTube channel it's all that same name so yeah yay for us <laughs> we gotta do that you know we gotta do that yay for us so okay so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of go through and um, recap so look how far we've come these were all of the things that we have covered if you know what I mean like it's it's only been seven classes but it's still it's been so much so there might be good here getting organized identifying our gaps our personal gaps taking small steps in the direction that was meaningful for us timeline no fear where we looked at the future and then caring for ourselves. those were our six topics and then today the seventh which is the recap so what did we do in there might be good here now this was way back three weeks ago like millions of years ago right like who remembers three weeks ago anymore i don't but anyway this was three weeks ago so the very first class where i just introduced the overview and i said there might be good here because i wanted to start out telling my story and i wanted to share some of the positive things that came out of my experience with my mom and that you know there's there can be a lot of fear there can be a lot of unknowns and there um, that you know that's kind of what's talked about the most around dementia and around caregiving and so I wanted to start out with just a little bit of positive possibilities um, that that I was surprised in the gifts that I was given in the experience of journeying along with my mom not that it was easy definitely not saying that it was easy but you know sometimes in our lives the moments where things aren't easy end up being some of the most valuable moments sometimes even the most beautiful moments and that certainly happened with me and my mom I am really grateful for the time that I had with her and um, and the, the jokes that we shared and the experience and the perspective of life and living that she was able to broaden for me by being with her as she journeyed into some unknown lands that I had never seen before, she had never seen before, and a lot of us don't know about. But it was an adventure and it was a growth opportunity and it was an opportunity for increased love so I talked about that I also talked about being versus doing in general in our society and how we have a, have emphasized doing a lot in the last few decades which is an emphasis on productivity and efficiency and things that are measurable and things that can be done by an individual so kind of like how can we you know accomplish things fix things da, da, da. but there's another side of of life that is also important and hasn't has kind of been diminished and pushed aside and that is being beingness where we we may take we may be slower we may be more abstract we might be more creative we may be more relational we might be more cooperative, doing things together rather than in an individual way, but more in a collaborative or a communal way. Um, and uh, it may not be measurable. It may not be as measurable as um, something that is distinct 
and, and can be cut away. It, may, it might not be, but it's still valuable and it's still being alive and, um, and it's something that is uh, a, a great gift if we can connect with that and be reminded of it. And I believe that um, that dementia is one of those things that can help us see the world in a different way that's not so it's not necessarily a diminishment, but it's just a difference. We talked about that. And then lastly, we talked about learning to surf and that, you know, what I wanted to do with this course was not provide all the answers or tell anybody how to do anything because all of our experiences are really unique. Even though we are caregiving for people with dementia, that can happen in so many different ways. Timing, circumstances, you know, we all have strengths and weaknesses and vulnerabilities. So, so how, how can I, how can I help? Well, you know, I say we're all in the ocean and then we all have waves and we can't stop the waves. We don't know how big they're going to be or when they're going to come, but I'm hoping that through this course, you get some tools underneath your belt so that you can surf so that you can surf. So that's what my goal is for this course is that we could, that was for this course, is that we could learn to surf. The second one is we focused on identifying our gaps. So here we looked at more specifically, where are you? So here we try to really focus on your, like to defining your specific circumstances. What were your needs and priorities? And how could you start creating your map? So I brought in the eight keys map and I walked you through these eight categories that I had used for my family and kind of started to give you some some ideas hopefully to make you curious and start thinking about it and asking questions in these categories you know is there something that you feel you need to do or that you um, would like to learn more about like where are you in this map and again not that Everybody needs to do every part of this map, um, but just that this is a really helpful way, I found, to be organized and to not feel scattered all over the place and overwhelmed, but like place things into a system that I can understand. <laughs> so we, that's what we did in the second class. And then we kind of talked a bit about getting organized. So this was something so important for us in order to stay happy in order for us to stay relaxed and feel like we could kind of, you know, have uh, our arms around what it is that we want to do. How can we do this? There's just so much going on, especially on top of our busy, busy lives. So I wanted to give you some tools just to support you in staying organized. What are things that I found helpful to be organized as a caregiver? So we talked about files, binder, paperwork, tracking the care team, and then medicine and hospital prep. So that's what we covered in the third video. Oh, I have a tapper there, whoops. So the fourth one was small steps. So here we kind of revisited our map and we looked again at our, our eight categories and we said, hmm, what is something that is really rising to the top for me and what action would I like to take on that topic? Is there something that is most important or most urgent or, you know, where I'm feeling most vulnerable where I would really like to make a change right now? And what is one thing I could do in this week that might be able to move that needle for me? We also talked about how dementia care is a long game and that we might have a tendency because it's kind of part of our culture to want to fix things <laughs> and Dementia is one of those things that can't be fixed, can't be fixed, at least not yet. So we need to prepare ourselves for really sustaining our energy, right? Sustaining it, having a long perspective, a long game. So how do we put boundaries around ourselves? How do we set our, how do we structure ourselves so that we can make it for the long run? So that's what we looked at in this fourth class. And so there we, again, we've kind of took the, that model and then wrote some notes down on our worksheet. Okay, and then the fifth one 
we were a bit bold and we looked in the fifth class I called it timeline no fear because that's when we look to the future and we thought we talked about what does it look like for end of life what are our thoughts what are our questions and what are things that would specifically come up um, when we're thinking about these important topics from a perspective of someone with dementia how does that affect them what are what are questions or decisions that might arise in their situation specifically how does that affect us as their family what other conversations might we want to have as a family so we just kind of you know we were a little bold we talked here about death and dying we talked about end of life wishes and um, we talked about palliative and hospice care what's the difference right kind of starting to get some of these these terms out there and I know some of you have, have encountered these terms but a lot of us haven't I know for me like the first time I encountered these terms was way late in the game for my mom and I really hope that for all of you you're um, encountering these words and these ideas earlier so that you're able to get used to them and able to learn about them and hopefully able to talk about them we really need to talk about all of these things and the more we do the easier it'll be uh, we also did play this I did mention this game which is the go wish game which is the um, to help uh, kind of invite some discussion around end-of-life wishes and then the five wishes which is a advanced um, care planning document one of many but it's a, an example that I like to use and we just talked about what are the things that need to go in there including choosing a healthcare agent and how do you do that and then the sixth class which I just did today was my final module and that is where I did caring for yourself and there we focused on owning the name meaning owning the name of a caregiver what does it mean to be a caregiver how do we define the role of a caregiver and then how do we advocate for that role and how is that changing as well in in the world so hopefully it continues to change I do think it's changing positively keep going but we need to also just recognize that it is an important word and that it's a valuable uh, role that we're playing we're part of a medical team so I also talked about seeking resources and um, practical matters having a contract for a caregiver if you're using one and then I provided some of my favorite tips for support for you so that is um, the recap I hope that this was helpful for you I really would invite your comments um, I will be continuing this series on Sundays at 3 o'clock going forward just I'm going to be talking about caregiving in general so some of the things I didn't get to cover as much as I would like I'm going to um, bring in uh, to my future talks I would welcome any suggestions if you have questions um, you can message me through Facebook or email me through um, my website info at bethreeves8keys.com Facebook is Beth Reeves 8 keys I'm assuming you know that because you're here um, and so yeah you can message me as well but if you have a question on something if you would like more information on something um, please yeah send me a message because that will that will help me focus what I do going forward based on your your needs and interests so um, I just wanted to leave you with a little bit of of rocking because I just can't get enough of the rocking and I think did I actually oh sorry one other thing was um, the books so these are different books that I mentioned over the course of the of the series and and or the game I guess that's not a book but it's a resource so I will I will put all of these names of all of these books down below um, supposedly if you if I list them I'm trying I've listed myself as an affiliate for Amazon supposedly if you click on the link that I put 
list if you want one of these uh, books, if you want to buy one. If you click on that link to buy it, supposedly I get a, uh, a fee uh, paid to me. I don't haven't seen that work yet, but <laughs> but if you do want to buy one of the books, if you if you want to try clicking on the link that I provide, um, it would be nice to try. Uh, these are all uh, things I can personally recommend. I have I have read them, I own them, and I find them extremely valuable. So these uh, are vetted resources if you are a reader. Um, and so that is that, and I am so grateful for you for being here. Um, I will continue these conversations on Sundays at 3 p.m., and that is Eastern time. And I hope that you will all join me, and hopefully we can have more conversation and discussion around things. Um, but I really appreciate this uh, participation of all of you to help me experiment a little bit with sharing my my experience with all of you and I hope it was helpful and I would uh, love to hear what what you took away from it and or if there were questions that came up um, or things you'd like to learn more about so thank you so much I'll leave you with the uh, another another big floating Oh, wait, it went away. What happened? What happened to my big floating? There we go. Thank you all so much, and um, I, I do truly hope that you have a, a wonderful rest of your week, and um, I uh, greatly appreciate you being here, and um, hope to see you again soon. Take care.